The Hyundai Elantra is one of the automaker's longest standing vehicles in the lineup, with a focus on affordability and economy. It's a symbol of what makes people choose Hyundai vehicles, but does affordability equal lower quality? Reliability is key when selecting a new or used vehicle, so how does the Elantra hold up until 100,000 miles? Here are the most common problems associated with the Elantra and how much they cost to fix and when they happen. CarComplaints.com gathers complaints by real owners regarding a specific vehicle and when looking at its model year comparison of the Hyundai Elantra, there are definitely patterns with problems. Not only does this data help potential buyers discover which Elantra may be the easiest to care for, but also which problems an Elantra owner can expect to encounter. After compiling all owner complaints from model years 1991 to present, carcomplaints.com finds that the worst problems with the Elantra are related to the engine. While most consumers complain of engine ticking or even failure, problems with the engine are the most commonly reported problems for all model years. Rated as one of the worst problems is the inaccuracy with the EPA estimates. More than 40 owners have complained that their 2013 gets lower gas mileage than the EPA estimates provided by Hyundai, but this trend follows through quite a few model years. This problem has earned carcomplaints.com's severity rating of 8.4 out of 10. Though it doesn't receive as many complaints as others, many owners report having problems with the Elantra's power steering going out. This potential for danger has earned it its high severity rating score. The 2013 has proven to be Car Complaint's worst model year, gathering an astounding 508 total owner complaints. It has received CarComplaints.com's infamous, quote, Beware of the clunker seal of disapproval. The car has more than 100 owners reporting engine problems and nearly 70 reporting problems with wheels and hubs or brakes. Not only does it have the most complaints, but CarComplaints.com also rates it as the worst model year due to several other factors. No other Elantra model year comes close to the number of reported problems that the 2013 has, but next up with the most complaints are model years 2012, 11, 10, with 147, 106, and 107, respectively. Luckily, newer model years have fewer reported problems, as you might expect with the 2014 earning 76, 56 for 2015, 36 for 2016, 52 for 2017, and just 13 for 2018. If you're one of the unlucky few to have a Hyundai Elantra with power steering problems, you may experience its first problem around 66,000 miles, and it could cost an average of around 12 grand to fix, according to carcomplaints.com. This seems to be the most expensive problem to fix. Most owners experience problems such as engine ticking or failure around 70,000 miles, and it costs an average of 4,100 to fix. But at the high end, the ticking problem can cost more than 45. Repairing the Elantra's gas mileage doesn't come with an easy solution, but the typical repair cost sits around 3000 with most owners noticing a disparity in EPA estimates before the Elantra reaches 10,000 miles. And according to Consumer Reports, the Elantra's problems are reflected in its customer satisfaction ratings. The model years which have received the most complaints at carcomplaints.com also received the lowest possible customer satisfaction rating of 1 out of 5 by Consumer Reports. Surprisingly enough, though, even some of its oldest test model years have an average or good rating in overall reliability. To see a full archive of all my Hyundai videos and reviews, please check out the links in the description below. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best-selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comments section below.